This is Mr. Purcell. I don't know why the alarm went off downstairs, but it went off quickly and it gave me a chance to realize I miscopied this problem. And so let me try it again, okay? Let me write it out. P Q R not P and not Q. You work inside the parentheses first. So I'll fill it in. Not P, not Q. Then I'll do the and. Now this and I'm about to write. It's this one right here. not P and R so we're working inside the parentheses and we come over here and work inside the parentheses so this will be four five six then we'll negate it seven and then our last statement this column right here will be our final answer. <coughs> so not P and not Q and negation of P and R. So hopefully I didn't miscopy it this time. And I'm going to go ahead and put another line here because we're really going to have two lines on this truth table. Okay, the first one, P is t true, Q is true, R is true. So, not P would be false, not Q would be false, false and false is false. Now come over here, working in the parentheses, P and R. So P is true, R is true, and is, if they're both true, then true. I'm about to negate it to get a false. So I'm looking at false and false is false. This answer right here that I'm circling in red is the final answer. Now we'll do the next one. See, there's three, uh, two parts here, part A and part B. This was the line for part A. Now here's the line for part B. Part B says P is true, Q is false. R is also false. So true, false, false, true, false, false. Okay. Going in that same order, not P would be false, not Q would be true, false and true is false. And coming over here. Doing these P and R true and false is false. Negate that, you'll get true. You're looking at the answer for this set of parentheses, this one, and for this negation, false and true is false. Okay, so both of these are false. False, false, oops, both of those are false. It takes a lot of thinking to get these done. Okay, 
Notice how I decided on the order that I was going through. I was looking in the print, working in the parentheses first. Your final answer is going to be the and statement. All of this and all of that. Okay, so work inside the parentheses. Over here, work inside then work outside. Not this. And then finally the and. Now, problem number four asks or says determine whether the number below is possible is a possibility for the number of lines in a truth table well I mentioned this earlier hopefully you saw that in the uh, test I mean in the textbook or on Rebecca's video that the number of possible lines on a truth table must be a multiple of two what do I mean by multiple of two well two times one 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2, 8. So just powers of 2. 2 to the first, 2 to the second, 2 times 2 times 2, just keep multiplying by 2. 16 times 2, 32, times 2, 64, times 2, 128, times 2, 256, and I'll say dot, dot, dot. So state whether the number below is a possibility for the number of lines in a truth table could there be 128 lines in the truth table yes because it's a multiple of two could there be 130 lines on a truth table no could there be seven lines on a truth table no okay it's not a power of two now Here's one where we're going to fill in all the lines of the truth table. And it really, when you look at it like this, with this pull-down menu, the way I've printed it out, when you print it out, it shows this pull-down menu, and it looks really much worse than it actually is. So, okay, they filled in all the possibilities for you. True, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. So we're going to go through, filling them in, just, okay, so let's do not Q first. Okay, so we're doing not Q. If Q is true, not Q would be false. Not false is true. Not true is false. Not false is true. So I've, now, this is a pull down menu and you'll be clicking the pull down now we're going to do this statement not q or p so you're going to be looking at this column not q and the p column i'm going to cover up that one so we're doing or remember with or the only way it can be false is if they're both false. So we're looking at not Q or P. I mean, not Q or P. So false or true is true. The only way it can be false is if they're both false. True or true is true. False or false is false. True or false is true. Any questions there? Once again, I'm going through here. Not true is false. Not false is true. Not true is false. Not false is true. So I did this column, and now I'm going through doing the or. Remember with an or, they've got the only way it can be false is if they're both false. Right? If you have false or false. Any questions? Okay, let's see, do we have time to do another one?
Hmm. Number six. And you know what? Um, I sort of think I might need more tables than, or more lines or more columns than what's right here. Okay. Or I guess you're only actually this room here for me to write. Okay. To get started, not I'm going to be filling in this and this before I do the or. Okay. So let's see. It's going to look a little messy. Not P would be false. Not Q would also be false. Now we're doing the or. False or false is false. And now negate it. If I negate this, I would get what? True? Okay, true. Now let's do the next line. Not P is false, not Q is true, false or true is false. Now let's negate it to get true. See this column over here, all you're doing is negating what you have right there. So the stuff in the parentheses is what you're finding here. It's false. So this one's true. Oh, wait, wait. Let's wait a minute. False or true. That's true. And when you negate it, that is false. Sorry about that. Where's my head? Oh, I hear someone's phone going off. Now let's try this one. <coughs> not P would be true. Not Q would be false. True or false is true. Not true is false. So true and false. It's the most involved stuff in this course. So we're getting this over with uh, sort of uh, early in the semester. So just bear with us. Now what color? I think I'll do this one here. Okay, so not P would be true. Not Q would be true. True or true is true true. Now let's negate that and we will get false. And not actually having a computer here filming, showing me you do the pull down menu. That's what these things are here. It's the pull down menu. And again up here on this one, I don't know what I was thinking. Not P or not Q. So false or true is sure true. Negating true, you get a false. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Here's another one of these. Okay. You choose not true. Well, excuse me, not P, or not Q. So not Q would be, since Q is true, false. Not Q or P. So you're looking at not Q or P. So you're looking at false or true. That would be true. Remember with an or, it's always true unless they're both false. And now negate it. Not true would be false. Not Q would be true. 
not Q or P. So you're looking at this and this. True or true is true. And now negate it to get false. For the next line, does someone want to help me out? I'll do it in purple. Okay, so not Q. Well, Q is true, so not Q would be false. Now, not Q or P, false or false is false. With an or, the only time it can be false is if they're both false. And now negate it to get a true. One last line. Not Q. Oh, Q, hopefully you have the hang of this now. Not Q. If Q is true, not Q, excuse me. If Q is false, not Q would be true. Now do the or. Not Q or P. True or false is true. Now negate it to get false. Any questions there? You just can't get around knowing this. You've got to know if P is true, not P would be false. If P is false, not P would be true. Then for AND, the only way an AND statement is true is if they're both true. For OR, the only way an OR statement is false is if they're both false. Okay. Let's see. Um, what time is it? Oh, we this is going to be. I'm going to have to do this a little fast. Actually, uh, I only have about two more minutes. I better stop right here. We'll pick up with this the next time here. Okay, we'll pick up with number eight. So thanks for listening and watching, and I hope you have a good day. Again, this is Anthony Priscilla, just doing a little logic with truth tables with this math 1332 class now don't let it uh, don't get too discouraged about this stuff okay